And so we have with us today, she's a pharmacist as well as nutritionist, but Ms. Ruby du Dubree, how are you doing today, Ms. Dubree? I am feeling, I'm doing really well. I'm excited to be here. Um, yes. You know, I have all things considering, uh, I'm doing well. Right, right. So now how is the West Coast and the atmosphere of everything right now? Um, you know, where I am is about, mm, it's not quite in Seattle. Um, and so here I find that uh, it is, it's not like things are um, kind of a high stress level every single day. Okay. Um, I find that, you know, you definitely have periods of calm. Uh, you know, I'm in a really nice neighborhood where we're all very supportive of each other. So that helps okay. a lot. Um, yes. But there's still definitely tensions, understandably so. Um, Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely, um, it's, it's definitely a, a very difficult time. No, absolutely. And so it's so nice, you know, with so much going on and on the news every time you turn on the TV. So for us to be discussing something totally different, you know, yes. and so I'm so excited about that. And for something mm -hmm. that I'm so very compassionate about, I've been in the industry of hair for over 20 years now. And so I learned very early in my career that health um, hair care starts from the inside out, mm -hmm. yes, you know? And, and so I had so many clients that was like, okay, uh, what can I go to the store and put on my hair? You know, what can I, what can I, you know? And I said, well, hold up. Okay. We tried some different things. And of course, when things doesn't work, it's like, okay, you don't know what you're talking about, you know? And so in further research, I realized like, okay, we have to deal with some things that's going on inside of us. You know, and so because hair care starts from the inside out. And so keeping that in mind of my strategy, I always have a strategy for my clients when they come in for us to say, okay, this is where you are at. This is where you want to be. And this is what we need to do in the interim of that. And so um, in having you on today, you're going to really bring on some truths to our <laughs> madness of how we think when it comes to hair yeah. care, you know, hair loss and hair growth. And so can you introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes, absolutely. So um, like Maral said, my name is Ruby Jabri. I am originally from the Caribbean. So if you have any <laughs> Caribbean viewers, I'm from Antigua originally. Um, I lived in Canada for about 10 years and now I'm living over in the Seattle area. Um, you know, food and wellness has just always been in my, is what I wanted to do, which is why I've combined a lot of my um, passions all together. Uh, and um, same as you, I, I really want people to um, think about the inside. I know, hey, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to, um, you know, doll up or whatever the situation is, but what's happening on the inside is really what's going to, um, it's going to come through, you know, and uh, you, you can use less products, which is just honestly going to be even cheaper for you, you know, more cost effective, um, you know, if you take, if you're taking care of, of what's on the inside. So I have a very holistic approach to, um, to healthcare, which some people might find a little bit uh, different uh, for pharmacists. They might think, oh, you know, just medication. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I care very much about the whole, you know, the holistic, the, you know. Um, yes. Supplements, if that is, um, if, you, if it's necessary, um, eating well, exercise, all mm -hmm. of that is important. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and so we're going to jump right on in. Okay, so now, you know, again, you know, we always want to say, okay, then what can I put on my hair? Um, but now how important, and, and you kind of touched that, but now how important is the diet when it comes to, you know, the growth of, of the hair, you know, the increase of the, the blood cells in your body and, you know, everything that the hair needs for the growth, the balance and, you know, um, the, the water intake and all that we do, you know, so how important is the diet? when it comes to something such as um, hair growth? So important. It's so important. <laughs> um, you know, we see the hair that's on the outside, 
but the, 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 the follicle is in the inside and that needs yes. the nutrients, you know, from a healthy diet. It needs hydration. So yes. we need to fuel our body. We need to absorb the nutrients well. We need to eat um, a very rounded diet to give us the nutrients that we're needed. And so the first thing that I would always say is a healthy, a balanced diet is um, the single most important thing that you can do for your hair. You know, okay. and then of course, you can always, um, you know, there are things that you can eat in higher quantities that might help. Yes. Uh, this might not be like a very popular thing that I'm going to say, but I know that there is sometimes like a tendency to want to um, just focus on one nutrient, you know, because I heard that, oh, you know, um, zinc is going yes. to make my hair grow. Um, and so they might focus on that and then forget that you know it's a very balanced thing that you have to do so uh honestly the food and the the hydration and just taking care of your body making sure you're having enough iron getting that oxygen you know to to grow yes. in is vitally important That's you know what thing. you know what and i'm actually seeing where a lot of individuals are now having a um deficiency when it comes to the vitamin d mm -hmm. why is that you know it can be several things we're not getting out as much okay. as we used to you know vitamin d is our sunshine vitamin and vitamin yes. d is very important um for hair growth it's actually one of the nutrients that some studies have shown can help uh regrow hair if it's okay. um simply when you have stress related um temporary hair loss which a lot of people are having right now does. So, um, yeah, so vitamin D, I think with a combination of very high stress, um, our diets are not very, you know, as good right now because of a lot of things going on, whether right. it's um, stressors or financial. I mean, it's, it's a really crazy time. We're not mm -hmm. going out as much. That whole combination of things can yes. definitely be depleting our vitamin D levels for sure. No, absolutely, because... You know, and, and so here's the thing, what I actually see in the salon is that when an individual have a deficiency of something, it does not show right away, right then. But mm -hmm. So now when an individual experience hair loss, the first thing they want to think of is like, okay, what am I doing right now? Which is, right. Yes. Which, which is my hair is responding. It's like right now I'm stressed. Right now. And I'm like, no, um, when actually... When you experience hair loss from a deficiency, this is something that you have experienced, what, a few months prior to, correct? Yes, yes. Um, because like you'll know, your hair has various stages of growth. Yes. You have the active growing stage, you have the um, the resting phase. And so um, what what's by the time it's out of your scalp and coming down, it's all, it's in a particular type of phase, which is not an immediate Face. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love that word. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what they think. They think that, okay, this is right, right now. But like you say, it's not immediate. No, it's not immediate. Not to say that you do not have um, environmental things that could not, that could be contributing to okay. the immediate. Um, you know, that's absolutely sure because, um, for example, you don't, you know, if you're using certain chemicals right now, that could be damaging the cuticle um, yes. or something that's different. You know, that's different. Um, that can cause a like, breakage, as you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. we're talking about hair loss, when it's falling out from the scalp, that is more, that's an internal um, situation and definitely something that you should, you should not look at just the time right now, but a span of time, a range of time um, you know, kind of going backward to see what yes. is happening for sure. Absolutely. Okay, so now you just stated something and I remember a situation that I had with a client like that. Um, she actually was allergic to um, one of the nuts or it, it could have been um, a almond or, but she was allergic to this particular type of nut. And so we had um, created this oil, this, this, you know, girl in the salon had created an oil and supporting her and, and we were receiving great reviews from everyone else. Okay. But now when she went to put this oil on her, 
we, we could tell where she broke out. So on her hands, the palm of her hands was like the little fine bumps, you know, and we were just like, okay, where is this coming from? Okay, so a couple of months later, her hair started shedding, started coming out. And so, um, and, and totally, totally shocked by the entire process. And so first time this actually happened, you know, to her. And so we, you know, we, we had to, we immediately, immediately stopped using the oil on her. And after some months, the hair started repairing itself because it has to repair from the inside out. And so it started repairing itself. And, you know, and, and now, you know, the hair is now down her back. But that was truly a scary time. And so um, so now, could a person that has nut allergies or whatnot, should they be very careful then on products that they use? Yeah, for sure. So if you have um, a, a, an allergy to something that you take by mouth, you should definitely still be cautious of it because it still is going to absorb into your skin and yes different oils um has have different penetration ability but generally speaking it's going to absorb into your skin it's going to get into your bloodstream it's still going to cause that allergic reaction so yes absolutely if she, if you have an allergy to something you have to be very careful especially nuts and seeds because i find that wow. those um seed oils and whatnot tend to be in a lot of products you have right. to be very careful to um to use them i unless it's like a very mild allergy i i don't know <laughs> i wouldn't suggest. exactly exactly yeah so now um with this quarantine 15 i've been hearing a lot of people talking about okay yeah. and so you know so <laughs> now that people are starting to get out you know it's just like okay i must get this weight off of me and right. i'm there too okay so with that being said um, then, you know, diets, you know, you, you, we have, um, the protein we have, you know, then we start, you know, um, taking a lot of different things, you know, out of our diets and whatnot. And so what are some things that we should definitely consider, you know, and, um, going on a diet, you know, and changing and eliminating the things that we're eating, right. you know, that can truly affect, you know, hair growth as well. Yes, absolutely. Nutrient depletion. So just the same way that I had said, um, what we're eating is vitally important. It's like the single most thing that we can do for your, you know, for, for our hair and our skin and whatnot. Um, nutrient depletion, I would say, is almost the second thing that you want to look at. Generally speaking, um, medical conditions, like, you know, aside, nutrient depletion is one of the things that you want to be very, very careful of, especially when you start going on very restrictive diets, which is, I know uh, it's not safe, but um, unless it's under very um, care of a, of, a, of a provider, but when you start looking at nutrient depletions, you're either looking at um, a, a really essential nutrient that you might need, like an omega-3 fatty acid, because people want to cut out oil, which is um, anti-inflammatory, right? We want to protect our hair follicles. You start restricting certain antioxidants you might need, um, like vitamin C. We start restricting vitamin A, which is you know, important for healthy scalp. So, you know, it's very important. And some persons will say, okay, well, I'm going to do a uh, um, restrictive diet and supplement with a with a you know a vitamin, which you can do in terms of okay, okay. Yes, it could give you you know certain nutrients um, okay. and be helpful, but it supplements always go in tandem you know okay with the diet, which I think is one of the things that um, you know persons need to remember is that there is definitely a place for supplements. I work at a supplement company, you know, and okay. so there's definitely a place for supplements, but we don't say, okay, just do this. You have to look at it very holistically. So right. when you're restrictive diets, you need to make sure that you are considering what you're restricting and how that can affect your skin, how that can affect your hair, um, how it can affect vital organs. And so um, it's not something that you, don't, you want to jump into 
Okay. Uh, without taking it a lot of thoughts, you know, and honestly, a healthy rounded diet is better than restriction, but you know, um, people are going to do what they're going to do. And uh, so right. my encouragement is going to be, please look at um, exactly what may happen if you restrict the nutrients. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. So now let me ask you this. Okay. When it comes to, um, have blood pressure, you know, um, diabetes, and you know, you have individuals that, that is on so much medication right now. Um, and, and those medications definitely does have an effect on the diff different phases of the hair growth and whatnot in, or can cause also to hair loss. And so what can be done with, you know, individuals that are, on medications. Now, my strategy is let's continue to always keep the hair strengthened, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but now, you know, is there anything else that can be done with individuals that are on medications in or if they see where the hair, they start losing their hair, should they request for a change of medication? How would that work? So it's, that's definitely a talk to have with your doctor. Um, but in some cases, yes, there might be another medication that you can use. And in some cases, no. This is what we have to look at what they call risk benefits. So if you have a medication that is providing uh, a benefit for you that you need to stay alive, then it may require sacrifice of your hair. And sometimes okay. it might be temporary, sometimes not. Um, there's certain antidepressants, which I know is not a very common thing that people talk about, but in some cases, um, antidepressants can cause hair loss. Um, oh, and, so, mm -hmm. and so that, if that is happening to you, if you're one of the persons that, you know, that unfortunately is happening to, that may be a talk that to have with your doctor where this is really affecting me because then that's going to contribute to confidence, you know, that can perpetuate, Absolutely. Um, you know, how you're feeling. And so in a situation like that, I would say, okay. okay, talk to your doctor about what might be another option for you. Um, certain diuretics, which you need for high um, blood pressure can cause water depletion, which causes can, uh, cause, can cause dehydration, um, yes. can also cause you to lose important electrolytes, so um, in that case as well, you, you can talk to your doctor about maybe switching you to a different medication that okay. maybe is not causing you to, to lose quite as much water loss, but that might not be feasible all the time because you might need a particular medication if you have you know, a history of heart failure or something like that. So yes. it, it's really uh, um, knowing your body, knowing that when you started this medication, you noticed it, you noticed that this is happening, and having that conversation with your doctor, because um, I would never say, okay, just, it's not a good idea to stop a medication like that. You know, you have to talk to your doctor and, and look at other options because you do not want to sacrifice your health, um, even though you want your hair to improve, you have to go about it safely. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I tell you, thank you so much for all of this vital information that you have given to us today. <laughs> Yeah. And, and I tell you, because, you know, individuals out there, like you said, they're battling like, OK, do I take this medication? You know how we are when it when our hair is affected, you know, yeah. it's just like it, it is a life or death. It's like, OK, you know, one of these things are going to have to give, you know, but definitely we want to bring you the education. So that way you would know exactly how to see what questions to ask and what direction to go into. And so I truly thank you for that. You know, again, thank you so much for taking your time out to speak to our followers. And definitely you guys want to go and follow her. Now, give them the information where, you know, if they have questions or how can they get in contact with you, even to get information pertaining to supplements. Yes, absolutely. So um, my handle over at Persona, Nutrition, which is the supplement company that I work at, uh, is nutritionist.ruby. So um, you can definitely follow me there. Uh, you can also, if you um, want to learn more about supplements, of course, you can go Google is abound with all kinds of information. But um, I really do like the, um, the approach that Persona has taken 
where you do an assessment so that you can talk about, you know, um, uh, have your needs you know, put down. And so it gives you a more personalized way of um, knowing what supplements are right for you. But whatever you decide, you know, yes. whatever you decide, um, the most important thing, the, the most important takeaway is to use something that fits you. You know, don't get too carried away with what X is doing or Y is doing, what I saw on, on you know, <laughs> on, on, on the internet. Um, it's really finding out what works for you and what's happening to you so that you can find the right supplement that is, um, or foods or, or, you know, what situation right. for your, um, you know, for you. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. And so, again, thank you so much. My name is Morello Kane. This is the Hair Debate. This is the platform where we debunk, debate, and discover all things hair. Thank you so much, Ms. Dree. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye. Come back with us next week, guys. See you then. Thank you. Bye-bye.